Ayo, it's your boy Alert Gaming Combin out y'all with another NBA 2K20 video and today I didn't want to drop this video until all of us finish watching the last dance. I assume everybody will finish watching that and I enjoyed it. Today, today we're going to be bringing Michael Jordan himself, the GOAT. Yes, you heard that correct, the GOAT 2K20. I've seen a lot of people you know, trying to make this build, but I feel like a lot of people don't know how to make him correct because Michael Jordan wasn't just a scorer. He's a person who could play defense both sides of the floor. He was a defensive beast. At the same time, he was a scoring option. We all know Michael Jordan wore number 23. But he wore three other numbers. Whoever can tell me what those three other numbers, I'll make sure to shout you out in the next video. As you can see, you want to choose the playmaking and defensive. You be my, you might be asking playmaking and defensive. Yes, because the fact that most people when they make Michael Jordan, they don't give this man defense. They don't, dis they disrespect this man on defense as if this man did not win the defensive year player. Like this man is a defensive beast. He is a defensive beast. You also want to choose the one that allows your player to have both speed and strength. Speed and strength for this build is going to be key. First of all, you want to max out your shot close, your driving layup. Put your driving dunk to max out. Max it out because you're going to get the 87 driving dunk. Once we upgrade that, that's going to be a lot higher. So we going to have a 90 something dunk. So we're going to leave that. Do not max out your standing dunk. Leave it at a 50. Go to the shooting. The shooting, you know Michael Jordan could shoot, but he wasn't the deadliest shooter when it came to the three. So you want to make sure you max out all your shooting, except do not max out your free throw. Leave the free throw at a 75. Leave that at a 75. Your post rate is a 72. Do not forget that. And your post moves at 77. So if you put those together, you're going to be doing some cheesy ass moves inside the fact. And you also do got an 85 ball handling which is gonna allow your player to be able to speed boost when it comes to those moments you might be looking at this right now because we got 13 finishing eight shooting badges and 11 playmaking badges which is gonna allow us to get Hall of Fame playmaking badges and we get 10 defensive badges to go along with that though so that means we're gonna have gold defensive badges which is actually really good because I wanted going into this how I did want to get some Hall of Fame playmaking badges so this looks really good once you max out everything eventually you gonna get a 80 strength you gonna get a 80 strength but we don't want to say that the body the body shape don't matter you can choose whatever you want Michael Jordan was definitely he definitely he was a he was a bulky player he, he wasn't too bulky before he came out and worked out before he worked out he was just defined so you want to choose defined we all know michael jordan is six six so you want to make sure you go six six i was just looking at the the, the attributes to see how it affected but we want to go with six six and that's gonna be his height that's his actual height the weight the weight michael jordan is 195 with that's exact but every time you make your play you also always want to go back and forth making sure that you got the right amount leave the wingspan exactly what it was do not and do not touch it it's gonna be a 82.7 so that's gonna be the right spot for it As you can see we keep our 85 speed 71 strength which is we're gonna increase do not worry about the strength like i said we're gonna end up with the 80 strength 93 vertical 93 acceleration and 94 speed to go along with that speed we also gonna have a 89 driving dunk 89 driving dunk we also do i know a lot of people are gonna be like this build cannot shoot that's the weakness for us hell no because you're gonna get a 77 mid range a 71 3 a 77 post rate and to go along with that just in case they put you in the box you have a seven you have a 82 pass accuracy so everything you see here is gonna be moving up and down to go along with that pass accuracy our butt handling stays the same our post moves go to an 83 and our perimeter defense is gonna be at 87 to go along with the perimeter defense we have a quick lateral quickness lateral quickness over 85 
Do not forget that the fact that I said Michael Jordan is a defensive beast. This man is a defensive beast, so we give him a 87 steal to go along with the, all the defense defensive badges that we have. Do not sleep the fact that this man also has a 62 block. I didn't want to put his block too high because there's no need. There is no need. Block is most of the time positioning. To go along with that, this man is not going to be a problem when it comes to getting that board because we also give him a nine a 53 defensive board and a 51 offensive board so it look it's looking really good because the fact that this man is actually able to play defense and in case it comes to the offense you're a cold bucket you're a bucket getter on off all of those stats that you just heard me talk about that's assuming that your play is a 99 overall and you got the gym rant which gives you plus four on all your attributes and so on but we move on and we get the ability to choose a takeover looking at this i did not think we're gonna get the playmaking takeover but our ball handling is at 85 so that's why it's there i thought they would have given us the shot creating ability because michael john is able to create his own shot but we're looking at this you have three options honestly if you want to get the playmaking and just get people stumbling dropping their knees you can get it but for me michael john is a slasher this man be catching bodies I want to be dropping people off when I go to the rack. So I ended up choosing the slashing takeover. And it says you built the two-way slashing playmaker. Which is a really good build. Because it's similar to Michael Jordan, Victor Oladipo, and Zach Levine himself. Which are really good players. And the build, it looks perfect if you do not get similar to michael jordan then you messed up that's the really key if it says similar to michael jordan then you have built the right way because you can build this build a multiple different ways off the bat i do want to say special shout out to uncle demi yo that man makes some of the rest build and he helped this build to come along as you can see for the finishing badges we got fancy forward giant slayer slithery slithery so necessary i love slithery slithery is really good even if you got like minus some of your badges acrobatic is your playstyle i know a lot of people will put acrobatic and they don't use the acrobatic do not put acrobatic if you're not planning to do a lot of reverse and you're not planning to do some of those fancy footwork inside if you're doing a lot of fancy footwork some of them might be some reverse dunks and so on and you might want to put that also relentless relentless check out relentless on your own that's a badge you can check out we have eight shooting badges looking at this silver quick draws the gold gold range extender gold hot zone hunter and you're good all you can do gold range extender and you can just get that green machine green machine green machine if you're not gonna have the ball a lot you can get catching shoot but the setup right there i think that's correct because that green machine is going to be helping you green and off the bat you're not going to start off with hot zones so do not put hot zone hunter unless you know you have hot zones you can put that on something else and we go to a bread and butter as you can see we're able to get playmaking badges yes sir off the bat we want to get ball handling quick first step space creator unpluggable do not put unpluggable on hall of fame but it's not worth it put it on server you can get anchor breaker on hall of fame flow general or whatever right here so this is the setup post spin you can put post spin on server or even flow general so that last badge is just gonna be really whatever you feeling like how you can just take out put space creator on gold make sure you get that Bella, Bella, I like the Bella. I've been messing around with Bella at least on Hall of Fame. There's no need to put Unplockable on Hall of Fame, but I just put that just for the giggles, as you can see. Put, make sure, please put that post spin technician because Michael is able to do. And that's the setup. That's a beautiful setup. Moving on to defense. Defense, I always say on defense, choose the right defensive badges that work for you. Me, I can give you a defensive setup, but it won't work for you unless you know how you work sometimes some people like pogo stakes or some people like interceptor but for me this is gonna be the setup that i know and i know how to use it so never me most of the time when i hear someone telling me something about defense i go out there i put the badges and i go test them out myself so that's what i'm recommending but as you can see that's just the setup we got gold intimidator gold clamps and silver interceptor i thought that was the right setup for michael jordan though as you can see we built the gold michael jordan we ended up choosing his jump shot for the jump shot creator and that's the build i hope y'all enjoyed this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and 
if y'all have someone else y'all want me to build make sure to leave him below and i hope y'all enjoy this and i'll see y'all in tomorrow's video